Welcome to Winnie's Corner, a safe place for women to learn and grow. Today, I have something very interesting to share with you. But before I go into that, I just want to take time to thank everyone who has been so supportive. Thank you for your subscriptions. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for everything. And if it's your first time on my channel, please do subscribe and click the notification bell. If you are interested in growing in your womanhood, in your relationship and your marriage as a woman, this is the right place. I have so much in store for us and I hope that you will be blessed every time I upload a new video. So today we are talking about something very interesting. I'm so excited to talk about this because I think that is something that affects a lot of women, a lot of us out there, and most times we don't know how to handle it. So today I'm here just to give us some tips on how we can handle our singleness. Yes, that's the topic for today. We are talking about singleness, how women can handle their singleness of, i just want to start by saying that there are a lot of stereotypes about singleness where i come from singleness it's seen as a bad thing especially from the ages of like 25 to like 35 or so or 40 if a woman in the age from the age of 35 to to like 40 is not married there is something wrong you face a lot of pressure you face, you face a lot of stigma and people tell you that because you are not married as a woman and you are 35 or you're 30 or you're 32 it means there's something wrong with you now people can always think what they want but it is your responsibility to decide for yourself how to live your life you can put yourself in a position where you can live out of peer pressure you can decide how you want to handle every phase of your life and i can rightly tell you that singleness is a great thing it's good to be single at the time that you're supposed to be single because the time of singleness is a time for something in your life that if you don't achieve that thing by that time it will be difficult for you to achieve it when you're married I just want to clarify something it's not everyone that is called to marry even paul says it in first Cor in first Corinthians chapter 7 i think as from verse 7 going down you can read from verse 7 going down and he said that he wishes that everyone will, will be unmarried like him there are some who are called to marry and there are some who are called not to marry that is the first thing so there are some people who are single because they want to it's not necessarily because they, have, they cannot find the husband because some of us married people we, sometimes we are mean to, we are mean to those sometimes we are those who criticize those who are single and we look at someone that, that is not married and we tell oh this person is not married because they are bad I have seen single people who are not married and are great they have great personality they have great purpose in life they have great direction they have everything that even some of the married women do not have but they choose not to marry so someone can voluntarily choose not to marry someone can a woman can voluntarily choose that they want to be single there are people who are called like that even paul says it so it's not in a position to judge someone if they are not married because we don't know the call of god upon their life we don't know what is going on in their life so I've learned how not to judge. I've learned how to just deal with people the way they are without judging them because they are not me and I'm not them. So, and you too, learn to focus on your life. You know, there are two kinds of singleness. There are people who are single out of their choice, like I've mentioned before, and they don't want to marry. Praise the Lord for them and may the plan of God for their life be revealed unto them. That brings them joy and satisfaction. I'm focusing on the group of people who are single and they want to marry 
and there is no husband yet or they haven't found someone they want they would like to spend the rest of their life with i just want to tell you my sister this stage of your life it's not a curse this stage of your life does not mean that you you don't have value this stage of your life does not mean that you know you, you are not you don't have the ability to draw a man towards you and for him to like you to the extent of trying to share his life with you that is not what it means F stop focusing on the pressure the society gives us and focus on yourself and the plan of god for your life god has a plan for your life and if the plan for your life you believe is includes marriage then it will come to pass so i just want to let us know how we can manage our singleness and still be happy trusting the father for the right person to show up in our lives but while we are waiting we are not crying we are not frustrated we are not weeping so today i'll be mentioning some ways or some things that you can do to enjoy your singleness to to redefine your singlehood you know to just have fun with your singlehood the first the, the first thing you can do in your state of singleness is to find the purpose for which the father created you the purpose for which the father created you every one of us was created with a purpose in mind god put us in our mother's womb and already set a path for us i know the plans i have for you the father god knows the plan he has for you he has set a path for you the time this time of your singleness is the time for you to figure this out why because you have yourself to think you can create time to pray you can create time to enjoy your relationship with the father without necessarily having to compromise for your husband or kids now it's just about you and paul explains it he said those who are single serve god better than those who are married so this time of singleness is the time for you to serve i've heard of many stories of people who by just serving in church without any goal for marriage just found someone that they did not expect just concentrate on serving pray unto the father to reveal to you the purpose for which you were born learn how to communicate with the father fellowship with him spend more time praying i know it's not easy but it's a choice you have to make because there is a lot of pressure around you maybe you have a mother or a father that tells you that calls you every day reminding you that they need you to bring a husband home it is your choice to decide if you want to take those negative things in or you want to choose to focus on your life and i tell you the truth once you are married you will beg for just a little time to focus on yourself and it will be difficult for you to have because you are now committed to people you are now committed to your husband you are committed to your kids and, and maybe to your job and everything going on around you so being single is the best time to figure out the plan the father has for you and when marriage comes you enter with vision and purpose Another thing you can do during the time of your singleness is you can build up your mind. You read books on marriages, you read books on how to raise children, you read books on how to be a good wife, you you read books on how to attract the good a good husband. You read books on you just just filling your mind with positive knowledge. Prepare yourself read books on how to parent learn how to deal with the with the part of you that you know might hinder you when you get into your marriage learn how to deal with your anger just get yourself involved just feed your mind with a lot of knowledge as much as you can because once you get married you need that knowledge to walk through in that marriage and singleness it's a time for you to enjoy yourself you know i used to say i miss just going 
out by myself you know when you're single you just go out by yourself you know you just have time you sleep when you want you eat when you want if you come back and home and you don't want to clean you know or you don't want to do anything you know you just have you just be yourself just enjoy go and get a massage and you know you can still do some of these things when you're married but it's going to be limited especially if you have kids everyone that is truthful at, in and is married can tell you that in marriage there is less time for you so singleness should be that time where you create to enjoy who you are. Paul said that a married woman concentrates on building the home, concentrates on the kids, concentrate in the in the nurturing of, of, of the family and everyone that is part of that family. And they don't even have time to serve. So he advised that the best time to serve the Lord is when you're single. The best time to enjoy yourself is when you're single. The last thing I'm going to mention that you can do to enjoy your singlehood is to do things that will build up your self-esteem. Low self-esteem is one of the greatest unrealized state of a woman that, that kills them or that leads to failing marriages. Someone with low self-esteem does not know how to receive love. Someone with low self-esteem does not know how to communicate love. They don't know how to make decisions. So getting married in that state with low self-esteem, it's going to hinder your marriage and hinder the person you're married to. So it's very important that you spend your singleness to build up your self-esteem. You build up your self-esteem by accomplishing things for yourself. You build up your self-esteem by going to school. You build up your self-esteem by just doing things that put your life in a positive form. You build up your, your self-esteem through your singleness by just loving yourself. Everything you're going to do in the process of singleness, it's going to lead to you building up your self-esteem and getting into marriage with the right self-esteem, which is a healthy self-esteem, is going to play a great role in the success of your marriage. So I just want to stop here for now, but I just want to let you know, single lady, single woman that's listening to me, that you have the opportunity to do some things that you may not be able to do in the future. This is just the truth. Take time and ask yourself, what is it that I can achieve now that I'm alone, that I know that I will not be at I will not be able to achieve when I, I start sharing my life with someone. When other people start being my priority. What is it? You need to show yourself so much love now that even in marriage, that love can last in that marriage. That even, that even if you don't have time to even go out and just have a great time to even do some of the things, you know, the way you treated yourself before, you know, you will not feel like in life you haven't achieved some things. And so the most important thing is to know that the fact that you're single doesn't mean that you are less valuable or you don't have any worth or you're worth nothing. Just having that mindset alone is going to save you from being frustrated and not enjoying this part of your life that you may have never have again. So... I just hope that you were blessed today. If you have any question that you want me to answer as regards to singleness, I've just touched a little part. But if you have any question, you know, people might be going through different things, uh, being single, and you want someone to share it with, or you want someone to help you go through that stage in life, please send me an email. The, the email address is now on the screen. Please send me an email and ask me any question. And I, I am going to... You know make sure that i help as much as i can so thank you so much for being here and i hope that i'm going to see you next week when i make another video bye bye